that meets the needs of present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. A very warm welcome to all watching this documentary on sustainable development. I, Dipanj, and my friend Disha are going to represent our team to highlight the need of the R of the sustainable development. Hello everyone, myself Disha. Social development is about improving the self-being of every individual in the society so they can reach to their full potential. The success of the society is linked to the well-being of each and every citizen. So are we developing the societies in real terms? Pollution created due to developing factories, mining industries, changes in climate conditions leading to forest fire, carbon emission, plastic has replaced almost all of the packaging industry. Where are we leading to? With the advancement of technology to win the race to be economically strong, are we forgetting our social responsibilities? SDG is here to guide us. Excessive production, insufficient recycling, overused plastic is a blight upon the environment. Plastic alone accounts for the 10% of all the Earth's waste and economic alliances determine that by tapping the potential of non-recyclable plastics, we could support hundreds of plastic to fuel facilities and generate tens of thousands of jobs. Diesel fuel made from non-recycled plastics result in significant energy and environmental advantages. These include reductions up to 14% in greenhouse gas emissions. As per our solution to get clean energy from the plastics, a large amount of non-recycled plastics can be collected and stored then processed inside the combustion chamber. While burning, it will create a lot of heat inside the combustion chamber. That heat energy will then be converted into electricity. The burning of plastic like releases toxic gases like dioxin, furan, mercury, etc. To filter out the harmful chemicals, most gas marks filter are made with activated charcoal or oxidizer charcoal. When the charcoal is activated with oxygen, it becomes ripped and tons of sticky holes in each molecular structure. Just like a chicken wire. Now the electricity will be filled. We can also give plastic to the bacteria which uses plastic as its food. Its name is Ideonella saccharis. It just breaks down the molecules of the plastic by secreting enzymes which eat the chemical bonds in the chain making them easy to recycle. Langhouse project as launched by our honorable prime minister made using 3D printed parts layer by layer and assembled together to make a house. It takes less time in construction, low costing and we can use a bit of plastics to mix with cement and other substances to make the house more sustainable and stronger. These advances are timely by vastly increasing our single use of plastic such as masks and takeaway boxes. The COVID-19 pandemic has focused attention on the world's plastic waste crisis. Earth is on track to have as much plastic in the ocean as fish by weighed by 2050. What about a beautiful house made from plastic bottles? We can create plastic bottle collection machine at public places like railway platforms, metro station, outside parks and tourist sites. It can crush all the plastic and then the chunks will be ready to use again. We can create smart green parks and sort with machines and statues made from chunks of such plastics. We can create artificial ponds and cities in metro cities like Delhi to collect rainwater and replenish the groundwater level, which is decreasing at alarming rate as we all know. So, as you can see here, this is a model of smart green park. Here you would see a lake. At the end, we can say sustainable development is about us people, our well-being and equity in our relationships with each other. In a context where nature, society, imbalance can threaten economic and social stability. So think wisely for the future generation. What will we leave behind for them?